Hi, in this video, we're gonna look at how to save the setup so that if you close SimView down, the waveform viewer down and reopen it, you can recall this, uh, this layout here without having to re-put it in, okay? So in this case, I've got some waveforms here from a full bridge converter that I was looking at. Uh, and I've got my waveforms all set up. I've got, you know, double axis over here. So I've got my voltage and current on different scales. My timing axis, I've got different things all laid out. I've got a different X axis over here. If I want to save this so that I can recall it, I go to options and save settings and that saves it. So if I do anything now, like close it and then reopen it, it'll pull that file back and it'll load everything up here. And if I change something, so if I zoom in over here, I can do options, reload settings, and it'll redraw everything. Okay, so when you do this save settings thing, it creates a, a, an XML file in your folder, and I'll show you what that looks like uh, in a second here. So here are the files uh, related to the simulation. So we've got the simulation file, the waveform file, the .smv file, and then we have this uh, settings XML file. This is the one that gets generated when we hit that save settings button back in SimView. Uh, and we can open this XML file with a common text editor. And this contains all of the background information in here. You can go through this and edit it and do things to it if you want to. Uh, it's relatively straightforward to see once you kind of get into it. But um, what we can do is we can rename this. So if I copy this and make a new version, right there, and we can rename this. Uh, I'll change this to uh, to temp, and we'll change this over here. Okay, so now I've got a new one called temp.smvsetting.xml, and let me copy uh, the original file, and I can change that and give it the same name. So this, XML file is related to this file because the names are identical. Okay, so if I open this temp file, it'll also load in with the same format. Okay, so that's that's how that settings files work. So uh, you can have multiple versions of this XML file and it'll always load in the one that's matching to your current file name. So you can save different looks uh, or use that same look and, and use it in a different one. Uh, you just need to make sure that the, the signals need to be, are gonna be the same. So this one has all of these signals available to it and these uh, show up. If you dig through this XML file, you'll find them all in here as well. Uh, all the signals that are gonna get plotted and you can see the Y max, Y mins and the signal names and all that kind of stuff is, is in here. So um, yeah, that's how you save the settings. Thanks for watching and check back for more tutorial videos.